Hey guys, this is MGS Warrior 2 and I have a Pokemon Online battle to share with you. This one is against Birdo89, who is another teammate of mine on Team Nightmare. He leads off with his Politoed. I let off with my Tyranitar. He went for the Encore, but it failed because I switched into my Reuniclus. I switched back into my Tyranitar so that I can have the weather advantage with my Sand Up, but he went for the Toxic. I guess he predicted some kind of switch in, or he wanted... Yeah, he was predicting another switch in because obviously Reuniclus absorbs all status. My Tyranitar's Choice Bandit, I went for the Stone Edge, but I got his incoming Scizor, but that did a lot of damage to Scizor. He went for Bullet Punch. So that's why I switched into my Foragers to take that Bullet Punch. But he sends out his Politoed again, so I go for the Volt Switch, so that I can switch out and deal some damage to Politoed at the same time. So I go back into my Tyranitar to get the sand back up, so we're both jockeying for position with our, both of our weathers. I go for Stone Edge to deal major damage to Politoed, and Choice Bandit Stone Edge deals um, heavy damage to anything that doesn't resist. And now the Politoed went down to the second Stone Edge. So I decided to just try to get as much damage as I could on this Vaporeon with one last Stone Edge before my Tyranitar goes down to the Scald. And now we're both at 5 Pokemon each. I send out my Reuniclus. I wanted to get up Calm Mind so that I can sponge those Scalds, but Vaporeon roared me out into my Terrakion who's holding a balloon. So I just wanted to get rid of this Vaporeon so that it won't uh, keep on roaring me out, so I use close combat to get rid of it. Now he sends out his scissor, predict another bullet punch. So I send out my fortress to take that. And bullet punch is pr pretty obvious that he was going for it on my Terrakion. So I go for the Volt Switch, and he switched into his Salamence, and I send out my Scarf Flygon. But Unfortunately for me, his Salamence was Scarf, it outsped my Scarf Flygon, went for Outrage, and his is Moxie, so he gained an attack. So I uh, went into my Fortress, because mine has Hidden Power Ice, and it, it is an odd move, but it does work against situations like these where I'm facing a dragon that is outraging. Or against Gliscors or Landorus's, Hidden Power Ice is a nifty move to put on your Fortress. And it did a good job there taking out his Salamence. Now he goes into his Landorus. And Fortress is able to take the Earthquake and one hit KO the Landorus with a critical hit with Hidden Power Ice. Now Fortress has been really impressive in this battle. So I go for Volt Switch so I can switch out of this Ferrothorn, and I go into my uh, Sableye as this Ferrothorn set up some Stealth Rocks on my Switch. So here I want to taunt it so that it won't uh, Leech Seed or do anything annoying like that. But he does go for the Power Whip and that deals about half to my Sableye. I decided to get the burn off on this Ferrothorn with my Will-O-Wisp, because my Sableye has Prankster, which means that all non-attacking moves will have the priority. So I switched into my Serachion, and he went for another Power Whip. It still did considerable damage to Serachion, even with the burn. So I set up my sub here, and fortunately for me, his Power Whip missed this time, so that allows me to set up my Swords Dance behind a sub. And a Terrakion who's setting up behind a sub is always very dangerous. And I'm in a good position here to sweep the rest of his team. So I got off a close combat, pl plus two attack. And his uh, Ferrothorn is gone, and all that's left is his Scizor, so I finish off his Scizor with close combat. And that was a good game, Birdo89. I hope you all enjoyed this Pokemon Online battle. Comment, like, sub, and see you guys next time. Bye.